So fatty liver is basically a lifestyle disease. It's more to do with the sedentary lifestyle of the people, the change in the food habits, the way people eat, the way people drink, and the way people exercise. So there has been an increase in the consumption of fats and carbohydrates and less of exercise. So this has led to what is called an epidemic or we can call it as a new pandemic after the COVID is the NAFL pandemic which is ongoing and people didn't realize about it. What we are seeing in our clinical practice is possibly the tip of it. If we go to a periphery or go to a village and start screening, there are studies which have shown that even lean people in India who are not obese, they have fatty liver. There is something to do beyond the weight in fatty liver. Genetics plays a very important role and as you know in our hospital we are doing genetic studies for identifying people at high risk of development of NASH and progression to HCC. So the most important thing here is that fatty liver is an asymptomatic disease. The most common way somebody finds a fatty liver is when they have done an ultrasound for something else. So because fatty liver doesn't cause very big symptoms, there is no pain in fatty liver, therefore patients tend to ignore it. And doctors also tend to wipe it off saying everybody has fatty liver. In the course of the disease, as long as cirrhosis doesn't set in, majority of the patient don't have symptoms. There may be mild fatigue, tiredness, and some people may have a loss of appetite. Other than this, fatty liver doesn't produce any gross symptoms. So once the fatty liver goes into liver cirrhosis, people can develop jaundice. There can be water accumulation in the abdomen, which we call in medical term as ascites. Because the liver becomes stiff, the blood cannot flow to the liver and there can be back pressure changes causing the veins in the foot pipe to enlarge, which we medically call it as varices, which can bleed. Most important and the scary of them is that in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, even without the presence of cirrhosis, there can be development of liver cancer which we call it as hepatocellular carcinoma. Patients don't understand the significance and the importance of the disease that he is having. For them, it's just fatty liver, which he discusses with five of his friends and all of them say, oh, don't worry, even I have the fatty liver. So they don't realize that it's not about liver. It's about the other specialities which can cause more harm to this patient than the liver itself. So a multidisciplinary approach is necessary because he needs to lose weight, he needs to keep his blood sugar under control, the BP should be under control, the lifestyle modification has to be aerobic exercise, which many of these patients, because they are obese, they say, I can't exercise, I feel tired. So they need a multidisciplinary approach, and most important is even to have somebody who can take the psychological support to these patients from the feeling that I can't exercise, that should go. So for that, we need a multidisciplinary as well as a collaborative effort from the nutritionists and the dietitians, as well as some psychological help for these patients. The only proven treatment of fatty liver at this point of time is diet and exercise. What is told is that if somebody loses 7% of his weight, then you can reverse the amount of fat that is there, that is a medical term called steatosis. If somebody loses 10% of his weight, then we say that some amount of fibrosis, that is stiffening of the liver, can be reversed to a certain extent. How to achieve this 5%, 7%, or 10% weight loss? There is no magic pill. So it has to be by aerobic exercise, which the guideline mentions as 150 minutes of aerobic activity per week, along with a low calorie, low carbohydrate diet, which the nutritionist can help us. There are some medications in the pipeline, but none of them have been approved by the FDA as of now to be used in, uh, alone. They are to be used in conjunction with the lifestyle modifications. <laughs>